Welcome yeah. back. Oh, oh, never mind. We're going to redo that. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, gosh. It's fine. Sh- it. We can talk a little bit longer. Wait, no, it's we? okay. All right. Cut that part out, Bruce. My nose was itching a little bit. Has everyone got their itches out? No, I'm so Not. nervous. Just well, let's why are you just so start. nervous? Because everyone's looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is wrong with you? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to another <laughs> to another episode. Why are we so silly today? <laughs> what you look like you. is when he doesn't cut anything. anything right. He's not gonna there. cut any of it. He might cut this little part of the conversation since we talk about him. Probably not. We're talking about Probably you, Joe. Not. Welcome back to another episode of the Reading Black Girls Podcast. I am Kayla. I'm Alex. I'm Aziza. And I'm Denisha. I don't know why we're so <laughs> serious today. <laughs> and we're the Reading I don't know Black Girls. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's just, it's just funny. Okay. That's one of them okay. type of. It's one of, those days. one of them. Days. Silly goofy, silly goofy mood. Just don't silly goofy take mood. it personal. <sighs> just one of them days. All right, well, oh, I was. You know why we're here? We're here to kiki discuss, kick, 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 tear up, read up, all of this, read down, up and down. And as you can book. see, we have the kiki part down. So, we so we gotta get into it. <clears throat> so this was no one's pick in particular this was a trbg i don't know it's like a collaborative effort from one of our faves mm-hmm, wanda mm-hmm. morris okay so listen i think our very first first episode that is somewhere hidden in the archives um we recorded <sighs> on wanda morris's uh what was what was the name of the book niche you remember all, all her, her little all secrets. Her, all, all her, her little, little secrets. secrets. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we we've read Wanda Morris before, and when we found out she was coming out with another book, we were like, oh, <laughs> send it right now, immediately. Right. We, need we need that. Okay. And she gave it to us. Yeah, she did. Yeah. And she did. <laughs> so shout out to you, Miss Morris. We love. We you. appreciate Thank you. you. <laughs> yes. So anywhere you run by Miss Wanda and Morris. Will be like, available to you it. October 25th, 2022. So go pick it up. Okay. Look at this cover though. Mm. Right? It's just giving it's me nice. vibes. It's like, an I was game. immediately drawn to it. What's even like, cooler is she did like a little behind the scenes look on her Instagram of how they got this shot. And I'm I was dying for the time period, like the vibes, the little pearls. Fact, the I hair. love that. Use ah! that sixties mod, you know? Yes. But it was like southern. Yes. Let's make it southern. Deep south. Yeah. Deep south. Deep. Deep in the south. But let's tell the people what this book is even about, because they okay, not yeah. even they don't even know. Do we read the whole synopsis or just a piece? Matter of fact, don't even, like the, read, don't even don't read, even read the synopsis. It. Just pick up the book. No, I was going to say tell <laughs> them what it's about. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to say add to cart. Very simple. <laughs> Pre-order. I mean, definitely do that. But to give y'all some background, we're not going to read the whole synopsis because I think it gives way too much. And y'all know mm-hmm. I like to just jump in. But it's about three sisters rose marigold and violet and a lot happens in their life some tragedies occur and it ends up being just the two sisters and some decisions are made and basically their past starts to catch up with them everywhere they go their past follows literally it's called anywhere you <laughs> anywhere they run their past yep. is following so i'm not even gonna tell y'all anymore just trust wanda and us Okay, <laughs> trust the five of us together and pick up the book. Now, yeah. trigger warnings, because we're about to get into this. The trigger warnings are racism, sexual assault, murder, domestic violence, hate crimes, and slurs. So the book was kind of heavy. Um, so just be aware of that. If you have not read it and you don't want any spoilers, now will be your time to exit. Or if you don't care, stick around. The rest right. of y'all, bye. 
We'll see you. <laughs> see you later. We'll see you later. When you're done. And now that they're gone, <laughs> the rest of us can get into it. Woo. Okay. This book was a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm tell I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't like books at this point set in this time period, like the 60s, 70s, like Jim Crow mm. era. I yeah. don't like it because they never don't deal with racism. So True. I'm just it's not my favorite era to read about. That's all I'm saying. But I, I trust Wanda, so I went ahead and picked up the book. Also, y'all forced me to. <clears throat> but literally no one forced you. <laughs> you just didn't want to be left out. I have FOMO. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you forced and yourself. I'm, I'm glad I read it though. Yeah. So did y'all have a favorite character or <sighs> y'all know? Hold on. Actually, how about this? How about let's guess? Let's guess everyone's favorite character. Because I almost that's fun. Because we that didn't do fun. any like little updates on Goodreads. Mm-mm. Oh no, oh, yeah. we didn't. And we, we just were it. like reading, finished reading. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So okay, let's start I think I with. Know I, you probably do. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, Alex. Are we guessing mine? Mm-hmm. Yes. Was mm-hmm. yours Marigold? I'd probably say Marigold. Violet. No. Yeah. It's really only her name for me. I love, yeah. Her I name love okay. Marigold. I mean, I like both of the sisters, but I feel like, honestly, my favorite character was, like, Hank. Hank. Or yep. Lily. Oh, same. Okay. Hank was so wholesome. Oh, Lillian. Ugh. Poor thing. Why He's did he it. have to die is all yeah, I have to say. Can we just say. start with that? <laughs> that was my reaction. We, I don't know right. why she we'll... killed him off. But I understand that, like, you know, because the sister lost the baby. Marigold lost the baby. She lost Hank. But, like, he didn't really have to die. He didn't really have to die. I thought he was going to be seriously hurt. Yes. Yes. Then when they said that there was a freaking, like, two by four sticking out of him. I was like, oh, she she made sure he was good and dead. Like, she really killed him off. Because I was like, oh, maybe he just got hit by the car and that's it. Me too. He just needs to go to the the colored ward. It'll be okay. Yeah. Right. And finding out who killed him. Bruh. Were y'all surprised? I was. I was surprised. Because I thought it was the, I thought it was the, those the guy, the white boys kids that from, they saw earlier, yeah, earlier yeah, right? That too. was just either them or the clan because they did have that burning cross. Enemies, that burning... Well, yeah. see, I thought the burning cross was definitely related to <sighs> those boys, and then I thought they just mm-hmm. came back to mm-hmm. finish the job finish after the job. maybe they saw Hank with the shotgun, which <laughs> pissed about off. a man, a, a man. man, okay, okay, unlike Roger. Roger. <laughs> Wait, can or I just, James. This n- was getting on my m- nerves from the jump. The minute that she he showed up on her doorstep, like let's go to let's go mm. out. And you seeing how? Okay, and first off, I just he's such a f- idiot because why would you pay for someone to move your stuff before they Thank even you. get there? And then Thank why was you. it only Marigold stuff? Because he sure did have all his suits when they was in Ohio, and like he had every bit of stuff. everything that he had. He and but, never cared about her. First it's of also all. because he, he was used her. living in his mama house, so he really didn't have none to take but his little clothes. That's and that true. should have he told you like everything you needed to know. Yeah, but she was desperate, though. I get she it. She really no, no, have no she, other I, choice. She, she young young didn't. black woman. No, she impregnated by a lawyer who just up and left her as soon as she let him out. We'll talk crazy. about this tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow for me, <laughs> but I'm gonna be gone. I got really you left. This said, "What are you gonna do?" You mean what are we gonna do about that? He said, "Look, what am I going to do?" Nice girl, but. uh I, like, didn't I didn't mean, mean it like what that. I said. Remember, she didn't find out through him. She found out through the director. It was like, yeah. oh, yeah, he went back to New mm-hmm. York. He had a family, a family emergency. emergency. I am the family emergency. <laughs> Sick. I, I that... was screaming when I, I was so hot because that is just the oldest bitch move in the book. Like yeah. to not to up and run when you impregnate someone. Ugh, if like, I but my, here's what I was also wondering about Marigold, <clears throat> baby. What about we don't have tea? We don't have we don't have a hanger. We don't got turpentine. We don't turp. I mean, turpentine is dangerous, but can we we could do a little With tea, so, or something, something. And the fact and that she waited why? so long, I was like, 
please talk to she someone. She wasn't that far along, though. She was only, what, two months? That's... Yeah, that's that she, whole time. But first of all, she waited months. that long to even tell, tell him. him. I feel like had yeah. she told him earlier on, she, she maybe could have made some different decisions. Right. And so I just... Or but she really she thought that he was going to marry her. Yeah, she, she hadn't talked to her sister. Because her sister were... would have been like, well, don't worry. I had the same little problem, and we're going to go fix this. That's what like, I was saying. True. But I'll say but also she... this. Marigold, to me, doesn't seem like the type that would have an abortion. She was kind of set. She like I mean, she kind of kept telling herself that oh he'll marry me he'll marry me like even if he was like all like that shocked was, and whatnot. Yeah, she wanted to go track him yeah. down to New York. Like she was just kind of trying to figure. She was it like out. maybe he'll take me with him. Girl, no. Yeah, she was delusional. Capital D delusional for a <laughs> but moment. But she was there. very much a dreamer, very much a a pure yeah. heart, pure soul. So I get it. But abortion was never. It was never one of I her just feel like it wasn't an choices. option for her because she didn't know it was a realistic option. Like she would not have known who to go to. True. She wouldn't have known. She didn't even tell her sister. Like, yeah. yeah. So I just think she was, she was in a difficult she was spot. In a bad situation. It was either the man that impregnated her and up and left or this no good son of a bitch, Roger. And that's yeah. who she went with. I'm wait. How can we you... just all say who everyone's favorite character was? Because yeah. we stopped at Alex. Oh, Alex, my bad. Like Vera, Hank. mine's was Hank or Lily. Oh yes, or Hank. Vera. I mean, Vera's off books, but I did no. yeah. Hank and Lily. Mine was Hank. Okay. Nisha's was Vera, aka Violet. Mm-hmm. And really, Kayla. I'm a. I'm gonna just say Vera. Really, like, so Vera, Kayla. That's I show do. Girl. I just. I that just. Was... I just wish she moved a little bit smarter, mm-hmm. but they always said quick to act, slow to think. She knew that was her downfall. If she would have just thought yeah, that a little bit more, I think she could have gotten a lot farther, but I think she did well for <laughs> the what, circumstances. What was going on? Yeah. yeah. I think That's she finessed that whole, like she, she really was like on some street smart, like, yeah she could read people her god sense like she was taking into account all of that and then she had those little hiccups where she was about to like do something hasty Mm -hmm. and then you know somebody did intervene or she intervened herself and was just like oh well i'm gonna wait it out let me do something different for for a change and wait it out i love like how humble she was like she was like yes i am that girl that girl that y'all talk about that's me Mm -hmm. but i don't care i'm gonna still go on and do what i want to do though like and she did she really was really resourceful, which I really appreciated. Mary. She said, let me go with Dewey, that white, the rich white man's son. I'm going to go with Dewey. Dewey wants to go to Boston. Oh, he's talking about kids and stuff. He Hell no. Me. She said, we're going to stop in Birmingham. I'm going to take that wallet and I'll be on my way. <laughs> and she was. I don't know why she didn't just take the cash out of his wallet, though. I didn't understand why she took the whole thing. That's a good point. I thought she would have just taken mm. the cash. I didn't realize she took the whole wallet at first. Yeah. Until Small detail, like, but... Small detail that led to a whole But it was a necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Because in that wallet, you know. And what was crazier is at the very beginning, when you get that scene of them like pulling up at the murder of those three civil rights folks, I was like, wait, Mm -hmm. wait, wait. (laughs) Hold on. I said, what is going on? on? Because what does that have to do with this? I but literally then, paused yes. and was like, what is this book even about? Because yeah. I could <laughs> not. Huh? <laughs> oh, I mean, I knew. I said, I knew Wanda not going to lead me astray. So obviously it's going to have to tie in somewhere. I just really yeah. did not. I didn't know where it was going to tie in. Facts. How did y'all feel important. about Mercer Bugs? You know. I look, he hated every time he came up on a book. Every chapter was, was Mercer I was trying Bugs. to like, get through his damn. chapters. I was like. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't a fan of him, (laughs) but I don't know. He was an interesting character because he, like, he was like, "Mm, black people, I could take them or leave them. But he he literally only could be above them. He's like, why am I, as a white man, (laughs) basically living the same as a black person? And it's like, well, because you're poor and you don't have a skill set and no one likes you. (laughs) And also, what's wrong with the way black people live do you see something wrong with it like it was just i wasn't a huge fan of him but i didn't hate him as much as other characters 
I was right. I feel like Mercer just needed a little bit more push to realize, wow, I'm getting treated the same as black people because this is an economic issue, not a race issue. We're on the right. same level. We need to rise up against these white folks. You know, the white <laughs> like I was just like, maybe just need a little bit. A little I thought bit he bit. was though. I thought by the end he was going to be like, okay, well, play dead. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to send it back mm-hmm. to his daddy and we all win. That's Everyone what I wins. thought That's he was going to do. He was actually going to kill her. Yeah. For real. He really <laughs> was like, that, oh my God, my child is in the hospital. Now I really have to do this. Like, I, I feel like say, once he learned that, he was like, yep, I'm making do what it do for my family. He was, I was, he was about his family. Like that yeah. was, he was talking about them the whole about. time. Literally. Every chapter, Mary he's Lou like, I wonder what me. Mary Lou is doing. Let me go call her. <laughs> and Mary Lou was like, where are are you Randy in the hospital like he he's come home. we don't got the money Denisha, she please what <laughs> is that how Mary Lou sounded to you Randy's in the hospital you gotta oh come my home Marcia, just just give it up yeah it's not more important like, than our son I would have told family. Mercer like I get it yeah you need to be here with your family but like Mercer's bringing in good money okay. go get who you need to get he was like, I got to okay. find a way to get this money by tomorrow. Like, I got to exactly. figure this out so I could pay this off. Like, But she didn't want him getting wrapped up in some mess because she knew them people. And, mm-hmm. and look, he knew too. He got he wrapped too. up in some mess. And now he did. And he ended up dead and unidentified. Mm, yeah. Because That's remember, they didn't, they didn't know that that was who him. the police were looking for. So that was... Mm. And also... Where where Violet and uh, Marigold chose to bury them, excellent idea. They will bury never them find in the concrete. They'll never they'll be never found. They'll never find them. They'll never Great find them. Great idea. Very good good thing. Really good idea. Yeah, solid. Um, yeah, didn't care for Mercer. I really thought he was gonna make a change at the end. He's, I was like, oh, he gonna get this money. He's gonna leave Violet alone. Maybe just yeah. smear some ketchup on her up, throat nice. and take a picture. Mm-hmm. But then he didn't right, because no. Dewey. So- did he have a camera with him? I'm just thinking about he the logistics. Did. Yeah. Okay. He went, no, he did. He got, he purchased like camera film and, and the camera mm-hmm. or whatever. Okay, the little yeah. Insta thing. The Insta camera. I imagine it's like a little Polaroid. Okay. Camera, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like but so he had everything that he needed. Ready. And just. But Dewey got to him and he said, What well, do we said? Stop right there. Stop right there. Don't take Don't one lay more a step. hand on her head. Didn't I, so t- didn't I you, tell you? You said you stopped calling me. You made that funky ass deal with my bitch ass daddy. <laughs> you said I've been following you for days. I've been you following you for days. Out, days. Out, out of bounty hunter getting hunted. Like, <laughs> like he, was he was just out there Mercer doing was not stuff. that good at his and job. Was. He so wasn't. <laughs> weak to figure out that Violet wasn't even there. And then he just kept staying there. I was like, if you don't go up to the house. And ask this woman where her sister's at. Shoot, take her hostage. Like, well, maybe he, he, he almost got he's her uh, when they were in Ohio. Ran up them stairs. I was scared for her. I yeah, was but then too. he just rattled the door. I know that dinky ass door would have bust down had he <laughs> just. Uh, and yeah. he knew Roger was a bitch. Roger wasn't and gonna stop anything. He should have like, just bust in there. Roger beat his wife, and he ain't got no job. This is a bitch made. Nigga. I was glad Period. Dewey killed him. He said. Yep. Yeah. He said, said "You can go back to him uh, uh, if you, you want that insurance looking money. for that insurance money." I, I said, like, "Oh, perfect, girl. <laughs> go get your check." And I kind of right. hope she does. I hope so too, because she gonna need that in law school. <sighs> That's true. Yeah. But here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. I really appreciate Wanda, girl. I really appreciated her because she she did two things masterfully. Okay. She took real life. I love when people like play off of real events that happen in history and then, you know, mm-hmm. like do their own spin because we know about the three civil rights yeah. activists, the two white guys and the one black guy. I think they were from New York and they got killed mm-hmm. down in Mississippi. That was one. And then two, the rape of black women by white men was rampant. Mm-hmm. Rampant. Rampant. And that's actually one of the many events that helped trigger women's involvement in the civil rights movement. Okay, because remember, they don't talk about the women that much. They don't yeah. talk about yeah. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks used to go investigate rape, sexual assault of black women by white men all throughout the South. She was doing that. Okay. So really appreciate the right. incorporation of very real things that were happening. Really, really Who knows, Wanda? love that. But she also mentioned the murder of 
uh, Medgar Evers and mm-hmm. True. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Emmett Till as well. Yes. So this, mm-hmm. so what was going on made sense, and then the fact that they were in Jackson, Mississippi, right? Mm-hmm. First White of all, Citizens this- Council. Yeah, we, all saw, we yeah. all saw the help, right? Yeah, we all saw the help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very real, very yeah. realistic, very realistic. Extremely. It kind of boggled my mind when um Violet was like, "Ooh, I got to get out of here. I got to go north. Let me go to Birmingham, Alabama." I was, I like, was like, <laughs> <laughs> "We can't like, shoot ooh. for at least another state up." Ooh. Right, right. But I guess like, I mean, realistically, they probably they had the same issues but i think that knowing what we know mississippi yeah yes so at that point she was like anywhere is better than right yes i guess but personally to me mississippi all them are the same (laughs) to me they are (laughs) to me they are too but i guess in reality someone living there they must not have maybe yeah there might have been a few maybe was birmingham bigger than Jackson? jackson I don't think so because Jackson's the capital of Mississippi. Okay. What's the capital of Alabama? Isn't it Birmingham? I thought it was Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to look it up real quick. But it I is. Go. Back is back it? Back it? Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, girl. I didn't I'm know not that good with geography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I think maybe because they stopped at a bus stop. Maybe she just knew that that was a place she could break off from Dewey. To go somewhere that, else. You know where. what? That's a good point. That's a good point. Because she, she said, I cannot risk us going any further. Because oh, it's she... Montgomery. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there we you know. go. TRBG yeah. needs a map. Oh, we yeah. do need a map. Woo. Ooh, okay. Montgomery. <laughs> but we know that Birmingham is a major city yes. in Alabama. Mm-hmm. So, okay. But I guess that is one of the first places that she could have gotten away from Dewey safely without Mm -hmm. getting too wrapped up in anything else that she didn't know like further Mm. up north because were they headed to Ohio or to DC to DC they They were gonna go to DC and then Boston right Mm -hmm. okay yeah and her train ticket was to DC and I'm gonna be honest I'm like Boston she I don't think that's necessarily better right she should (laughs) have gone to DC that's -hmm. where she should have gone at least uh, Marigold got there yeah, in but the they end. did tell her they were like, "Do you have a job?" The two right. uh, ladies, "Do you have a job? Do you have family?" Girl, you gonna be you don't want to go over there. Yeah, you got tricking. They did. I liked how that I was, was so like was played out as well because that happened. She was like, hmm, maybe I do. Need that to that stay older woman came. She said, "Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you." When I was up there, I had to do some things. She said, "The fact that you didn't even look at this bus schedule lets Tell me know me. your plan to get up there is not fleshed out. Don't go up there. It's not." Mm-hmm looking like it's a good plan my friend <laughs> that had it's not a good screaming. idea and i'm I glad someone screaming. said that to her because she really had not thought things thought it through. through and i love mm-hmm. like an impulsive character but she was really impulsive and already on the run from the police <laughs> can i be she honest was just trying to get out of there she i'm was. not sure i understand the point of her working for the the Kugler, the Kugler. Kugler. The Kugler. Yeah. she needed a job. She needed quick. a job. Just that was money. And Lily money. was like, "They're looking for a new maid." Yeah. and she said it was Mammy hard died. to find a job in that town because it's so little. It's hard to come yeah. by. An right, open and she's a stranger. So she's like, "Just yeah. go yeah. take this job." And so she, you know, she ended up working there behind that nasty bitch. Mrs. Ugh. Kugler was nasty. Had her little drawers and Betty sanitary Jean? napkins. Out. Yeah. They were both Ugh. disgusting. They were both disgusting. disgusting. Betty he Jean. said I, she made sure to save the worst for last, and it was that damn bathroom. And I was just sick. That's disgusting. I can only Vile. imagine the how smell. nasty that was. Yeah. You know that meme? I know it smelled crazy in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I had to. And then she and was so upset. Did. She was like, my mom would be so disappointed because she cleaned white people's houses mm-hmm. so that we wouldn't have to. And now I'm on the run from the law. And cleaning white people's houses. Like that Damn. disappointment weighed so yes. heavy on her throughout the whole story. Like yeah. you know, disappointment from yeah. how from others' expectations or her family's expectations of her. And then the guilt from all of you know it. her sister's death, which yeah. she blamed herself for. Because she, she was like, if I hadn't been time. at the yeah. 
like what she had been holding on to that for at least 10 years oh, yeah. yeah and she blamed herself other people blamed them like when roger was like yeah your sister did kill your other sister that was fucking great like like shut yeah. up you were you know, Mar- marigold should have bashed his head in right then period right then and there for him to even say that like let's keep it above like relax it was an accident it was yeah. unfortunately it really was. she was a child right she slipped and fell like she hadn't gone and gotten her sister a and million drowned. other times out the wood like she slipped yeah. and fell into the water and unfortunately she couldn't swim which is yet another reason we need to make sure our black and brown kids know how to swim because they are far more likely to drown than their white peers but it was just really unfortunate, unfortunate. that she had to carry that around because i i think that really influenced all of her other decisions because mm-hmm. she was like well this badness is already in me yeah and i thought it was interesting that she always ran back to her sister's journal diary. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah her diary yeah. yeah i thought that was interesting and then we got to read some of it and how the sisters felt about each other like rose thought that both of her sisters were very smart marigold thought that violet was the smartest out of all of them violet thought that marigold like they all thought yeah. very highly of mm-hmm. each other yeah. mm-hmm. but didn't share it with, with which i thought other. that was so unfortunate you know but i i did like um insertions from rose's diary because it really like you could see how all of these subsequent deaths really impacted the sisters and how mm-hmm. they just mm-hmm. moved throughout the course of this book, especially, you know, Rose's death and then dad dies some years later and then mom dies a few years after that. And now it's just the two sisters. They're still young, still in their 20s, and they have to yeah. navigate this racist world, this racist mm-hmm. society. Alone. You know, they're just yeah. trying to, you know, live. Right. I was so mad because in the beginning, it mentioned that when their family had died that oh there were people that said don't worry i'll look out for them and then didn't mm-hmm. i was mm-hmm. so mad Hurt because you know it takes a village to raise a child but even as you get into adulthood you need a community around you and for them to not have had their backs after the, both their parents and right. their sister died i was i was like ooh y'all ain't shit. y'all really ain't shit. so that was sad very sad because i'm wondering where the re- where was the rest of the family maybe it was just a well, small i don't know billy Jean no it was couldn't have been Chukaki. that small because remember their cousin moved <laughs> yeah she was What's in that town they moved to in oh, okay chillicothe, chillicothe georgia georgia mm-hmm. all right i'm gonna let that was birdie it, right that's not yeah 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 you don't <laughs> kayla you keep it to your pronunciation to yourself <laughs> but she was in Chillicothe, georgia which i did like that miss morris uh used that town as a setting for her for this story too because it was also the setting or one of the settings for her first oh book. yeah it was Ooh. and honestly once i, I didn't even read that, that i wanted to go back to all her little secrets and be like who did I miss something? Because the... wasn't the lady who who helped her out? Who helped her? her wasn't little... her? Na- wasn't her name? Vera? I thought her Vera? name was Vera. Was Vera. Oh! Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna crazy. look it up. But her, I'm name sure her name and was Vera, and she had a pass. She, she had a pass. She did have a pass. <laughs> well, there you a, go. Yeah, not a universe. And Vera always <laughs> wanted to like help okay. women who were in those bad situations, yes. right? Yeah, so, because the stepdad so is doing things to uh, Violet. Yes, yes. And Vera had her own house. They were like, "Is your name really Vera? I thought your name was Violet." And she did have a record. Wait, yep, yep. wait, yep. Because oh, Vera, yep. From when she killed wait. that man, I remember yes. that. Yes, and yes. Vera had her and the, own. And the guy house. raped her. Remember? Yes. yes. <gasps> what? I love that. I love oh that. <laughs> okay, oh, I, I didn't even girl. Mean, a I'm universe? universe. Oh my god! I'm reading. I'm like Chillicothe. I'm like I read it some Chillicothe before, yeah. right? As soon yeah. as I read it, I said I need to go crack open that other book because I feel like there are some similarities. But then I didn't because I fell asleep. But because they, used I'm glad we came Vera, to this consensus. Didn't they together. say Vera had a garden or a farm? Yes. That yeah. That's crazy. Hanks. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, I'm sure that you're so okay, girl. Helen did. <laughs> I you with the story love telling. that. I love that. Yeah, I mean, so then overall, what did y'all rate this book? 
I gave it four stars. I gave it a, I gave it a four. 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 I, was, I, I honestly wanted sad. I wanted Beer Hank. to live happily ever ha- after yeah. with Hank. But I mean, come to find out that you know she couldn't because in the first book she was alone. That's true. She didn't have any it, kids, right? So yeah. we are agreeing that Vera yes, is Vera from, that Vera yes. from all her little secrets. I mean, um, who else could she be? Yeah, Miss right. Morris. It's a small wrong, town. If, if we're wrong, Miss Morris, you right. Us. Right. If we wrong, right. let us know. Yeah. Did we? Figure but I hope we're not. <laughs> Did we spoil something? No, we couldn't have. I'm sure other people right. will figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This could so. just be a TRBG pe- conspiracy theory. Well, that's if other people read. <laughs> like, I need my wife. All of her, her secrets. secrets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good point. So if y'all haven't, you should absolutely yeah. go read that book because that book is excellent. Absolutely. Yeah. I gave it a four a as well. I'm just very sensitive to Black women suffering, even in fiction. And the characters were already in the beginning suffering so mm-hmm. much. And then at the yeah. end to have them suffer in such a traumatic way was just kind of a lot for me. So I gave it a four, but I still love you, Wanda. Right. Enjoy no, writing. I thought it was. Yeah, it the was story was still bomb. very well done. Good. The story was very good. Yeah. So easy. Very like, it was so fast. It was so Here's fast. Because let's be real. How many Kayla of us started in, in the past two less days? Less than 24 hours. Oh, yeah. I read it in the past like two, three days. I That's started. all it took me. Today's Sunday. I started this Saturday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. I was going wow. to start it Saturday morning, maybe mm-hmm. Friday. Yeah, but like you, it's just so it goes quick, quick. and like the back and forth point of views. Yeah, and it really I, I enjoyed that. Mercer's point of view. It it that was interesting. By very quick. Yeah, I actually really liked that because multiple point of views are always like always keep me invested in the story because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, well now that's another thread I have to keep track mm-hmm. of. But I didn't expect to be able to be in Mercer's mind, and even so Dewey's. At, a little at the end, right? Yeah. At the end, yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, we got four points of view, which that's is that that's I impressive. feel like that doesn't not happen often in books. So I like, yeah. It. But I'll I'll say this: I think it was before the last hundred pages. I was like, "How is she gonna wrap up this book?" She surprised me because I did not expect it to end like that. For Hank Dewey dies. To pop up. For Dewey to pop up and be like, Hank dies. if nobody can have you, or if I can't have you, <laughs> nobody can have you. Going with that, that's oh, exactly that how he sounded. Girl, like, <laughs> relax. He's like, what? Ain't nobody yeah, worried about up. you. Right. Marigold also, loses the baby. Hank's dying. I thought she was going <sighs> to do something more with Betty Jean and old. I old wanted, I wanted her to. Her ass I wanted her to blackmail the two of them. That's what yeah. I thought yes, she was so gonna bad. do. I, I thought she was gonna back up. Why else is she gonna really pulled them up and they having an affair? Out. She, oh, she was oh, she was the restaurant owner. Like, but you know what she did time. say? She said before she left, her panties had that musty smell, like she was. Mm-hmm. And there you go. That's why she had her doing her laundry every time she every came back time. in the house. Time. She said, she "Go said, put these in the wash quickly, uh, quickly." Girl, girl. your panties are nasty, ma'am. Very. She's probably not even peeing after sex. Oh God. She was, yeah. The Kuglers. The Kuglers. They're, they're nasty and they deserve each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I, yeah. There was a few things <laughs> that I was like, hmm, I thought she was going to do this different. Why did she do this? But I feel like that's a sign of a good writer because I am really, in, I was really invested in these characters. I was very sad this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very she sad. Was. Here's what I will say. I kind of <sighs> wish they turned the picture over to the FBI um, it was a picture of pretty much the mm. White Citizens Council people, Dewey, Mercer, them next to the bodies of the three civil rights activists that they killed. And so the FBI, I remember, opened up that investigation and was trying to figure out who did it. The mm. only reason I didn't care that they didn't turn the picture in is because the White Council members had already been implicated and them handing over the picture would have raised too many questions because how did you get the wallet? Where are right. they? Aren't Where you are wanted they? for murder? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> it just it would have it would have been too many questions. So the fact that they, I mean, they didn't get off scotch free. But at this point, I just wanted them to focus on themselves and their welfare as sisters together because they don't need to separate anymore mm-hmm. at this point. Because well, clearly they, they, they do better right. together. 
Well, Marigold mm-hmm. went to DC. Oh, Marigold did go to DC. To go so to she's a lawyer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would love, I would love some type of something, someone involving Vera. I'm sorry, Marigold in DC. Something. something because like the main case? character of her last book a was a lawyer. She was a lawyer. Did Marigold have something to do with it? Because where did the main sure. character and all her little secrets go after she left Chillicothe? Because she moved in with someone. She went with- up north, but I thought it was to like Chicago. I didn't think it was DC. I don't remember. Honestly. I don't but remember she did either. go up north somewhere. But the reason I don't think it has anything to do with Marigold is because that one had a brother. Mm. That main character had a brother, but mm-hmm. they didn't have a brother. It was just the three girls, and her. It's not like a, a sibling is going to pop out of anywhere. So mm. maybe it's not. Well, maybe it was somebody. I don't know. We'll see. I still think it was Vera, but oh yeah, it was definitely maybe, Vera. Yeah, that's Vera, but I just don't think that it's. I I don't know if we'll get anything else out of Marigold. So let's hope Marigold went ahead and, you know, was able to. Become, become a lawyer. A lawyer. Yeah. Go to Howard. Oh, yeah. Live her best life. Find a better mm-hmm. man. Settle Can down. Can I also say, yeah. TRBG did not go to Howard. Well, actually, Aziza did go to Howard. <laughs> however, however. For grad school. For grad, grad school. school. <laughs> My heart bleeds black and gold. We are Bowie State alumna. Yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. yeah, y'all but... keep asking. We did not go to Hampton we either. Been asking. No. <laughs> No, we're bulldogs, right? Be, I mean, it's all it's all HBCU love at the end of the day, of course. But but if you went to an HBCU, you already know we take that you know, very serious. Very we don't play seriously. That's that okay. on that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> all you know. So, but anywho, overall, yeah, it was great read. Four stars. Great so much read. Fun. Four stars. Very yes. fast. Y'all should so read it. So congrats on your new book, Wanda. Right. You did For that. For real. This is my And own. if you decide that you're really building a universe and we're not just conspiracy theorists, we're very excited to see what happens next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, this has been so another again, episode of the Reading Black Girls podcast. Again, this book comes out October 25th. So please be sure to get your copy because it'll be worth it for sure. Absolutely. Let us know what you think in the comments, of course. If you disagree yes. with our theories, <laughs> we're always open to that. And we love a little dis- <laughs> we love a little discourse in the DMs. And too. do. Yeah. And let do. us know. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Until next time, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.